Welcome to John Gets Games. Today we're going to be playing Union Station, and three friends are going to be joining us for that play in Tabletop Simulator. Now the way this is going to work is I'm going to start by teaching you how to play Union Station, then we are going to play through the entire game, and finally the four of us are going to record a Friendly Ties post-game episode where we discuss this play, Union Station in general, as well as Cube Rails. Now before we get into all that, I would like to ask that if you enjoy this video, that you please click the like button for it down below, as well as the subscribe button for the channel. In addition to that, if you'd like to directly support the channel and the creation of videos like this one in the future, then please go to johngetsgames.com slash support. There you'll find a bunch of ways that you can really help things out, and many of them come with perks like watching some videos early and advertisement free, as well as voting on which of those videos are made. The final thing I'd like to ask is that if while you are watching this, something about this game really jumps out to you, or there's a turn that you feel like we should have done something differently, then please comment down below because we'd love to see those kind of comments. All right, I think it's now time for me to teach you how to play Union Station. Out here we have the game set up in Tabletop Simulator, and before I start teaching it, I would like to ask that you please turn on the Klingon subtitles. That way, if I make mistakes while I'm teaching the game, or while we are playing the game, I can then put corrections on the screen where you should be able to see them, and I will also put corrections below this video in the top comment. Now let's start things off with a brief overview of the game. We have Chicago here in the middle, which is where Union Station is, and in this game, each player is an investor with starting money, and on a player's turn, they are going to either purchase a stock from this market, or they could lay track for a company they already own stock in, or they could sell stocks that they've already purchased out of the game to get an influx of money, and they could then, of course, use that money to purchase more stocks. Now on each player's turn, they are going to do one of those three things. When stocks are purchased, we take them from up here, and then the share value is going to increase, and the price to buy that stock is going to be the value that's printed over here. So if the blue token was here, it would cost 14 to buy one of its stock. In addition to purchasing stock, players can lay track, and if you put track down, you have to start next to Chicago, and then you can work your way out doing maybe something like that. Whenever you place a token onto one of these golden spots or these destination cities, that is also going to increase the stock value for that company. Now, every time a company token crosses one of these golden spots, that is going to initiate a dividend payout for that company. We'll take the value that it's under, in this case, that's 20. We then divide that by the number of stocks in that company that all players own, and then we each get money equal to the number of that stock that we have. Each time a dividend pays out, we're going to move this token forward, and we are going to keep playing the game until we have had 20 dividend payouts, or until none of these company tokens can be legally placed on the board, or until every stock certificate has been sold. So that's the brief overview of the game, and now let's talk about the actual specifics of how these rules work. Now, at the start of the game, we are going to have an initial auction, and in fact, this is going to be the only auction of the game. What we do is we shuffle this up, and then we deal all five of these cards out, and then we can flip them, and as you can see, this is always going to have one stock for each of the five companies that come in the game. The order here is important because in the initial auction, we will go from the left over to the right. Now, starting with the starting player, they are going to start the auction for the leftmost stock, and the amount they can bid has to be five or greater. Then we move clockwise, going from that player around the table, and each player can either increase the bid value or pass, and if you pass, then you cannot jump back in for this auction round. Once just one person is left, that person is going to take that stock and put it into their hand. Let's just say that we spent 14, and in that case, we would put the marker for that company on the 14 to mark that company's initial stock price value. And then we would have to spend 14 of our money. So in this case, we would go down to 16 total. It's worth noting in the actual game that you play on your table, it comes with a couple tracker cards, and those help you mark how much money you have. And you could also use other tokens to count the money that players have. After the first auction is done, the player who won that auction is going to start the next auction off for the next stock card up here. In this way, we are going to keep auctioning all of these off until every single one of them has been purchased. Obviously, in this situation, all of these tokens would be on the spots that marked the winning price for those, and of course, we also would have spent our money to pay for these stocks. After that, we'll draw the top card from this offer deck and put it into the share value one spot, and now we are ready to start playing the game. Now, it is going to start with the player who owns stock in the company that has the lowest stock value. In this example, the yellow Nick player over here has a black stock, and that's valued at nine, so they would take the first turn. Now, on a player's turn, they are going to take one action from three different options. The game comes with a player aid, and as you can see, those options are buying stock, selling stock, or laying track. Now let's talk about buying stock first. For this, you purchase at that railroad's value, and then you adjust the value. 
Now, you are only ever allowed to buy a stock that's in the share value plus one, plus two, or plus three spot. So that means at the start of the game, only this black share is currently available. There is an orange share over here, but that just means we know it's coming. We can't currently get access to it. Now, in this case, let's say Nick decided he wanted to buy this stock. In that case, he would have to pay nine money because that's the current value of the black company's stock. So that would bring them down to 18 money total and then they will increase the value of the stock based off of the position they took this card from. That says share value plus one, so this will increase once, and then of course Nick would take this and place it into their hand. After a stock has been purchased, we will draw the top card from this deck and shift all of these over. So for example, if the stock from the second position had been taken and there was one here already, we would shift all of these over just like that. Now that we've discussed purchasing stock, let's now talk about laying track. For this, you must place two tokens down for a railroad company that you have at least one stock in. So let's say, for example, it's Anastasia's turn, and that would make sense considering after you choose one of these actions, play will move clockwise. Anastasia currently has just a green stock over here, which means she can lay green track. And when you do this, you have to start by laying next to Chicago or next to previous track of that same color. Let's go ahead and focus in. The first of these tokens would have to go next to Chicago, and the next one could go next to that token or Chicago, and let's say Anastasia puts it here. After placing tokens out, you now have to check to see if the value for that railroad company is going to increase. For every token placed on one of these tan towns, the value is going to increase twice. For every token that you place onto a non-matching destination city, it's going to move up three times. And if you are able to place a token down onto a matching city, the value will increase five times. As you can see on the map, there are five of these destination cities, and they are associated with the five different railroad companies. So for the green railroad company, it obviously wants to make its way over to Des Moines, because as soon as one of these are placed into Des Moines, that will increase the green railroad's price by five. Now, as soon as a railroad has placed into its destination city, no more tokens of that railroad can be placed, so you can simply remove those from the game. Obviously, in order to place over here, you have to chain your way over. And I do want to point out that every single hex out here on the board can support two of these discs. So two different companies can go onto each of these spots, and there is no penalty for putting the second token down. Now, you may have noticed that this green token just landed on one of these dividend spots, and that means a dividend will happen immediately, but I'll talk about that in just a second. The last thing that we have to do when laying track is we have to add one more stock to the offer at the top. What this means is we shift everything over, so this will go here, and that one will go there. And as you can see, that means as we start to lay track, we are going to open up more options for ourselves up here at the stock supply. So that's how we lay track, and before we move on, let's now talk about the dividend that we just triggered by moving this token there. Remember, this happens immediately once a token reaches or exceeds one of these spots, and then we will perform a dividend payout for that one company. In this example, that's green, and it's on 13, and we divide that number by the number of stocks of that color that all players own. So in this example, that would be 13 divided by 1, and Anastasia would get paid out 13, but let's just pretend that this was over here. In that case, we would divide 13 by 2 and round up, and then both Anastasia and ourselves would get 7 money for our one green stock. Each time a dividend pays out, we're going to move the dividend track up once, so the first time we do a dividend payout, it moves from off the board onto the one spot here. Well, at this point, it's now time to talk about the Chicago Union Station Company. This is, of course, what the game is named after. And there is one thing I didn't mention when we bought stocks, and that is the fact that after buying a stock, you move the token of that company's color down once in this company area. So in our example earlier, where Nick bought one of these black stocks, the black Union Station token would move down once. Now these are important because every time every single one of these companies has had their token cross one of these lines, we will then have a special dividend payout. So in this example, every company has passed the $10 line, and the way the special dividend pays out is we are going to go through each of these companies, and they are all going to do a dividend payout of $10, just in the same way we talked about earlier. So if we were to maybe divvy these out just a little bit like that, we could see that the orange company is going to do a $10 payout, and there are three orange stocks, so we divide that by three and round up, and that means every one of these orange stocks will pay out $4 to the player who owns it. Now, as I said, we will do that for all five of these companies every time every one of them has crossed one of these lines. So obviously, if we had a situation like this, when this moved there, we would then do a special payout at 15, and once they all reach the bottom, we would then do a special payout of 20. Now, every time we do a Union Station special payout, we do not increase this dividend track. At this point, we've talked about buying stock and laying track, and now let's talk about selling stock. Now, when you do this, you're going to get rid of all stocks of one company's color from your holdings, and you will remove them from the game. For example, Travis over here could get rid of both of their orange stock, 
and then they will gain money equal to the orange company's current value for each of those. So in this example, orange is at 15, and Travis just sold two of them. So Travis will get $30, and then the token for that company is going to move down exactly one row. So as you can see, after liquidating that stock, the value of that company went down by six, and that's certainly not great for other players that own orange stocks like us in this example. So I've now covered the three different actions that players can take. And once again, after taking one action, your turn is done and play will move clockwise. Now we are going to keep playing the game until we are going to hit one of three end game triggers. The first of those is having the dividend marker reach the 20 spot up here. It's worth noting once this marker reaches the 18th, 19th or 20th spot, players are no longer allowed to sell stock anymore. And you can tell that because of this gray background underneath those three dividend spots. So after we've had 20 dividend payouts, the game will end immediately. The next end game trigger involves these stocks up here. If at any point all shares have been purchased, then that will immediately end the game. And lastly, if we have a situation where no more company track for any of the five companies can be laid out on the track, then that will also cause the game to end immediately. Once the game is over, players are going to gain money for every single stock they have equal to the value of where that company's token is. They will add that to the money that they already had, and then the player with the most money will be the winner. All right, at this point, I've taught, I think, all of the rules to the game, so that means we are done teaching it, and now let's join up with some friends and play a full four-player game of Union Station. All right, we're all here around the table. As you can see, we are playing a four-player game today. Uh, we have my friends Travis, Nick, and Anastasia playing, and let's start this off with a really brief introduction uh, for us uh, with this game and Cube Rails in general. So, Travis, it's my understanding you have a little bit of experience with this game. I do. Hi, I'm Travis. Um, I am the designer of this game. So um, <laughs> according to BG, stat, BG stats, I've played this uh, nine times, but obviously that doesn't include... Is that the, the record? Do we think that that's the record? No, no, it's not. <laughs> the people, I it with, the people that I playtested with, they actually, um, they actually recorded it as an unpublished prototype, and then they converted all their plays over, and I'm just lazy and I haven't done it. <laughs> so um, there you go. Uh, cube Rails in general, I've played a lot of Cube Rails for a long time. I like, I like them. They're, they're fun, quirky little things. Awesome. Hey everyone, I'm Nick. I'll be playing the Yellow Hand today. I have not played Union Station before. I've played a handful of Cube Rails, uh, mostly thanks to to John's uh, newfound love for them through this past year. Yeah. Hi, yeah, and I'm Anastasia, and I've played exactly zero Cube Rails. And in fact, up until this moment, I wasn't actually sure if this was a Cube Rails game. So <laughs> I'm really excited because I've heard John talk nothing but Cube Rails for six months and just kidding um and i'm it's pretty close to the this, truth <laughs> this is gonna be my first one um so well, i'm like really you. excited to see what it's all about awesome awesome and yeah this is the first time i'm gonna play the game as well although according to the uh, spreadsheet that i've built because that's how i am uh, i think this is gonna be my 22nd cube rail game that i've tried over the last six or so months so uh <laughs> i've definitely done a bit of a deep dive uh so yeah on that note i think let's start playing this game um we start with an initial auction so we can shuffle these up so wait a second travis you said there aren't any cubes so there, there are no cubes yeah this is not a cube rails game i'm sorry it's a disc it's a disc rails game <laughs> it's gonna be my first one it's gonna be it what have you done i'm sorry <laughs> with the with the power of tts we could just make them all cubes that's true that's true yeah. yeah historically these games used cubes but now that these games are getting fancier and prettier uh some use discs some use little train tokens some don't have any of those at all and they kind of you know make it hard to uh, categorize but in general cube rails is just yeah. you know the simpler usually 60 minutes or less type of uh, train games uh all right mm -hmm. so we've got the auction lot up here we can flip those over and all right this is going to be the Ooh. order we're going to auction in we're going to go blue black white green uh orange and travis you're going to start this auction off for the blue station oh goodness okay well i think um i think i'm going to start off at 11 okay uh i'll bid 12. pass please <laughs> so this is already interesting because of course if i go 13 the stock price is going to be placed here and that's the first dividend spot and you don't activate a dividend when you place it's... the initial uh, lot there so uh 12 is a, a really great bid. The next one because <laughs> if i let him take uh -huh. it for 12 then um he could get a really early dividend so i think i'm going to go 13. i'm going to pass yeah, that's yours, John. Awesome. And by awesome, I mean maybe that was a huge mistake. We'll see. 
All right, I start the next auction. Oh, yep, and that goes to the 13. And let's see. Yeah, actually, I'm now realizing that the first stock on offer is going to be blue, which means it's probably going to get... Yeah, maybe that was a mistake, but anyway, let's uh, let's go for it. Black. <laughs> that, is, that is why I chuckled whenever it was my turn to go first. I was like, oh, no, I don't like, <laughs> I don't like this, this lot. Hey, going. just because I like these games does not mean I'm good at them. Uh, I'll start this auction off at 13. 13 huh um 17 ah. <laughs> <laughs> let's go go big <laughs> um yeah yeah i could go 18 on that pass please i have to pass <laughs> oh, yeah you like, literally do, I do. I, <laughs> do i do it i mean it's kind of i'll i'll pass i'll i'll, I'll pass i'll let hey. you have it um let's start bidding then on the triple r pennsylvania railroad we'll bid the 12 dollars that i have hmm. i'll do 13 on that i will hmm. i guess one thing i've also just reminded myself of is the fact that there's different numbers of stocks in the deck so there's the most yes. of the white least of the black and the blue that i already uh, bought is right there in the middle i think i'm going to pass hmm. on the uh you wanted to share that after I finally bid on something. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a bad thing. <laughs> what a, can I can I retract? No, I'm fine. I'm committed. Thirteen. He says, and then he's like, mm, "It's the least valuable." <laughs> <laughs> not necessarily. Um, I'll I, I will let you have it though for thirteen. Oh, thank you, thank you. All right, that's what I get for holding out. And you get to kick off. Oh, oh, I get to kick us off. That's right. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. Um, all right. Let's see. I will, sure, I'll start the bidding off at five for the green <laughs> shares. Um, five. Burlington Roots. The minimum. Uh, I will say 12. Oh, come on. <laughs> I, will, I will take it for 17. Yeah, that makes sense. Ooh. That makes sense. I am Here seeing it. now why 17 is the magic bid. Yeah. Can be can be a magic. Bid well, wh why is that times? Um, because a plus two gets you to the nineteen dividend payout, and then you have more money mm -hmm. than stupid Nick who's stuck with twelve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I thought you, it was just because he we you can't can bid higher it. than that. But oh, yeah. Well, yeah. he could have bid. Uh, oh, that's a good point. Yeah, that was the exact I, amount to yeah. to stop the auction without any of us having any yeah. agency. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um, I'll put up. I'll put up orange for. Sorry, Nick, for $12. <laughs> well, I will pass on that then. I feel like I have no idea how valuable money is. And so this is going to be hilarious if I'm like, I held out and then I'm just poor. Um, just so that I understand mm -hmm. the economics of this a little better. Um, all of these shares are going to come out and they're going to be the cost of whatever is here. So if you go into this game poor, you you're really not able to do a whole lot. I guess you can just lay track not, till the end of time. Yeah, and that's what I'm doing, well, you baby. Can, yeah, well, you can you can lay track, and then whenever whenever you land into you know one of the towns, and that's going to increase the value, which then will trigger trigger a dividend payout. Right. Sure. So I, I have I have seen people go in with like five dollars or zero dollars and come out on top, no problem. So. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. First time playing. Uh, a, a disc rails sure. game yeah okay great <laughs> 13 then let's play this like it's brass birmingham <laughs> this is going down okay <laughs> going to debt um huh i'm really tempted to say 17 the reason for that is because yeah. it's two away from that dividend tick up mm -hmm. i think i'm gonna do it i'm gonna say 17 i'm gonna bid all my money mm -hmm. and take it and again maybe a terrible decision but we're going for it Wild child. <laughs> I think it's good. All right. So that is going to finish the auction. And now we can start the main game. And I believe Anastasia gets to go first. Because remember, it's the person who owns yep. a stock of the least value. And if there's a tie like this, it's the the one of those that's tied that was purchased later. And Anastasia, you took the white that's after me. So you get to take the first turn of the game. Oh, Ooh, my gosh. That is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, I mean, I say that, but actually those coming out early means 
when people buy these, that's going to increase the stock price. And blue needs to go from 13 up to 19 to hit a dividend. So it's actually maybe not the worst thing in the world. We'll see. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I'm going to buy this blue share. All right. Just join in John's journey. Team blue. So I go ahead and move the stock price up to 14. And that's it. Uh, then the uh, Union mm-hmm. Station Company token also went down once. Because remember, once right. all mm-hmm. of them cross a line, there's a dividend payout. So that's also another way we could get some liquidity back in if, you know, yep. your name is me and you spent all of it in the initial auction. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So it's my turn. I could sell stocks, which would be a terrible think, idea. Uh, before we continue, Anastasia should pay, though. Oh, yeah. Mm. There it is. Just- there you think <laughs> <laughs> details details it's like it's a, it's just an opinion you know <laughs> Take it or leave it. okay it's my go and i think i'm definitely laying track because i have no money so i can't buy and i think selling would be terrible and when you build into one of these little yeah. golden towns it increases the value by two so let's build mm-hmm. orange oh man I say that. I think you should build blue. <laughs> well, I say that, and I want to go here because I have to lay two. So I want to get to there, trigger a dividend, get myself a bunch of money. But of course, the orange destination city is way over there. But it's fine. I can I can worry about that in the future. You have you have enough you you have enough to move. Around. Yeah, there's twelve tokens. All right, so I'll go here, and that increases orange twice, and that goes to the nineteen. So that's going to trigger a dividend. There's only one orange out here, so I get nineteen money, and that's then simple. the dividend track goes up. Ah, yes, and then we Ooh, get, good. we've get we increased the number of uh, stocks out here because every time we lay track, that pushes it out, which essentially means the first two times anyone lays track, we're going to increase this, and then it'll stay full for the, at least until the draw deck runs out. Okay, mm-hmm. that's me done. Travis, you can go. Um, as, as, as tasty and low and cheap as some of these are, I think I'm actually, I think I'm actually just going to, what color am I? I'm not white, I'm green. I got the green. I got the green company. <laughs> got the white. There it is. Ooh. I was like, "Oh, great!" He's I got track. excited for a second. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and build green because it just makes sense to go into this dividend payout. Yeah. Now and get and get nineteen dollars and just have money. Yep. That'd be nice. Look at that. Look at that. All right, and these all move along as well. Let's oh my out. gosh! Ooh, who shuffled oh these? I, <laughs> a tabletop simulator shuffled right, them. Yeah. There you go. Pen, I mean, there are penny eight, stocks. There are eight of the white uh, uh, stocks. Well, I guess there, seven. There I, don't wanna, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about this right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, great. I'm gonna lay tracks as well, and mm-hmm. two can go per spot, right? So I yep. can do that. Yeah. Which bumps it here, and then I get paid the dividend of nineteen, not twenty. Correct. Nope. 20 where yeah, it lands it's the full amount oh i'm so amazing at this game <laughs> um all right that is my turn well i'm looking at you all flesh and money and my inability to get anywhere near there and uh the uh immediate devaluing of so um hmm not sure what i want to do here not not loving my position at the moment I guess I'll lay track. That's really all I can do at this exact moment, correct? You could sell stocks, but that would probably not be not the best be idea. I mean, ideal. It, wouldn't, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. You'd get your money back because you paid, you know, you paid 13 for this white. You could sell it right now and it would drop down there and you get your 13 money back. So it's, you wouldn't have lost any money, I guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then I would, and then I would make this. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. Interesting though. I could sell, I could make it cheap, but then. Um, I could buy more of it. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. let's see. I guess I will just lay some track. But it only it goes up every time this yellow it will go up two. Two. Right. It's got a long, it's a long journey. It is gonna start going up. Is that there quickly. are a lot of white. Yeah, because there are a lot of white shares up, so people are gonna yeah. start buying some stuff. As they're purchased, yeah, the stock price is gonna go up. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to sell, I can't believe I'm like wasting a turn here, but I'm going to sell my blue stock. Uh, How do I do that? Where does it go? Just toss it out of this universe. (laughs) (laughs) Literally just tossed it. All Uh, right. So I'll get 14. Yep. And I'll take the blue stock down to eight. Yep. Yep. Okay. So you actually made a money on that? I did. <laughs> I'm not sure that that was worth two turns, but I don't know enough about the pacing of these things. I know it's that early, seems bad, so. John, from the, the sound that you made, but I actually think this is very good for you. Yeah. 
I, I, I'm not, I'm not weeping over it. I totally see why Anastasia did that. I, I would have been very tempted to do the yeah. same. Yeah, I did too. Mm -hmm. Well, at this point, I feel like I should probably buy the blue stock. It's cheaper now. Hell it's yeah. eight, so that means it'll yeah, go down yeah. to 11. And then this will go into my hand. That doesn't help me out dividend-wise because I'm splitting with myself, so I make the same amount of money, if not maybe slightly more, with a rounding up. But then this goes up one, two, three. And mostly it yeah. stops somebody else from taking it from me. Right, yeah. Three. That was good. Let's see. Also, oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> what the heck is going on? <laughs> um, I am going to buy, I'm going to buy this white share though for 13. Well, I was about to move up dividends here. One, two, three. Here we go. Look at that. And just to clarify, you could have bought any of those shares, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I could. What the heck? Oh, <laughs> fascinating. <laughs> it's good. It's good, John. All right, Nick. Just to clarify, when a stock drops down in value, it doesn't trigger a dividend. Like if the green were to if, drop down correct. to 13 right now, that would not trigger a dividend. Correct. It has to increase into or through a space. Yep, that makes sense. So I actually have a super fascinating choices here, right? Because I could, I could sneak into the um, Blue Railroad just before it pays out dividends. Yeah. I mm -hmm. could sneak into the White Railroad just before it pays out dividends or, or buy it and force it to pay out dividends. Uh-huh. Um, which seems the most exciting, even though it's split three ways. Yeah, that seems that seems the most fun. So let's do this. This is going to cost me 16 bucks. Surely it can't be blue or white. Hey, we got a different color. <laughs> and yeah, so I paid. And then um, this goes up by three. By three. And now it's at 19, split three ways. So we actually favorably round up to seven. seven. Yep. Se seven a share. Wow. This is fascinating. Bad. This is like an emotional roller coaster over here. <laughs> like I, I'm Look not gonna lie. Have. <laughs> I know. I was kind of like, I tell you, on my last turn, I was like, okay, how do I like hide how <laughs> miserable I am in this moment about how this has played out? And now, like the share has gone. This like the stock market. The share is like you know doubled in value in one round, and I'm sitting pretty. So yeah, yeah. There was a, there was a run on the triple R. Yeah, fascinating. Uh -huh. So now the question is, maybe I should buy that blue stuff back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would trigger a dividend. It would now. trigger a dividend. I you would. <laughs> um, I was thinking about uh, getting the white again, but I think that's boring. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and buy this blue stock. <laughs> Very nice. Um, back for 11. So fun. And that's going to take me to 14. And uh, and then we uh, we do a dividend. Yep. Blue goes up too. So that's gonna be thirteen divided by three, rounded up. That's five each, I think, right? Five a share. Awesome. I came out good on that stock market play. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm okay with it. I mean, it split my uh, shares a little bit, but I I don't know. I'm not sure if I would have bought that. That'd be a serious investment in blue. I don't know. Either way, I think that was a good play. Okay, so now the stock market wants us to buy orange because that's how the shuffle went. <laughs> Although I guess white's really good right now. White is... Surprisingly good. I mean, and especially for having no track on the board. Yeah. It's, it's actually doing very well. We've been very <laughs> stock, stock purchasing this game so far. Mm -hmm. Huh. As, as an insider, as somebody who has played this game, obviously, a couple of times, um, the most boring plays of the game are the ones where people just lay track. Yeah. I mean, I, I know that in some of the, like the blog post you wrote about this game, you said that this is a very, this is a stocks uh, a heavy cube rails game. Like there's a map, but it's, it's very, you know, yeah. the, the focus is, is on the stock market and I'm it's, definitely it's starting silly. to see that. It's a silly game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> silly can be fun. So yeah, if I buy white, then we all have one in white, which kind of, it seems weird, but it also catches me up with all of you and white, it, it would go up three times, one, two, three. Huh. This is fascinating. Yeah. My mind's kind of blowing on how this like <laughs> works. Hmm. Well, thank you. Tra Travis made that claim earlier that uh, it's different from other Cube Rails games. And at first when I heard him, I was like, okay, sure, whatever. Everybody wants their game to be different. No, this is super different from other <laughs> Cube Rails games. 
<laughs> for good or bad, it's different. <laughs> you, know, you know, who wants something kind weird? Of I'm enjoying that. You know, I think, I think, I think. Let's let's do the white thing. Let's do it. Like we're all oh we're all god. in. It's uh oh my god. The incentive is fully <laughs> shared, so that's going to cost me nineteen, which I think it is unbelievable. Me down to two. Like one, two, it was... there it is. three. It is. Ah, <laughs> all right. Um, now that all those shenanigans have happened, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna build with green some more. That's my turn. All right. So boring. <laughs> so so boring. Oh, this is this is bizarre. That makes sense, and I was convinced you were going to do something else. So now I'm wondering if I should buy the white share and and trigger that. That'd be one, two, three, four, five stocks. It'd be five each. Uh huh. So I would be pretty broke because I would spend twenty two, go to one, get ten yeah. back. Now I see why you didn't do it. Um, so interesting. The other, just... the other thing to keep in mind, right, is that you're the sole owner of this company that yeah. only has four shares. Well, one of them is very publicly available. <laughs> well, it's, it's, Making sure it's soon to be on the market. Yes, right. All right, yeah. Let's uh, let's let's expand Alton. Is this Alton? The Alton. <laughs> I don't know why you guys yeah. talked him out of that. That the was Alton a perfectly good play for him to <laughs> buy the R and R. It's like. Travis doesn't know this, but you don't help Nick on anything. <laughs> okay, noted. Ever. Noted. No more. <laughs> no more. No more insights in this. I, I'll be honest. Actually, the main reason I didn't buy it is because there wasn't a rounding bonus. The fact that it's divided by five True. was that made sure. me salty, and so <laughs> I that's a good for that reason. Yeah, because it went to twenty six. Yeah, yeah. Then I would have. Then I would have. Um, I'm just kidding. Always good to give insight <laughs> into the plays. Uh, Nick just uh, he has this propensity for winning. Um, that we rip him on. Okay, I don't know what to do now because uh, I was really hoping that Nick would buy and I could buy the Alton share, which I cannot buy now. Um, hmm. I guess I'll lay white or blue. Blue, yeah. Hmm. Blue needs some help. Hmm. You know, it's got to make it all the way over to Minneapolis, right? right there. But also the mm -hmm. weird thing, I say weird. I mean, I've never played this game before, but... Once you lay into your destination, you can't lay track for that anymore. So part of me was was literally sitting here thinking, I know it's not my turn, but I was thinking like, ah, oh, start laying some track. But like, if I get too close to Minneapolis, then some, then like somebody who has somebody at least one share could be it. like, donk, blue's done. <laughs> but I guess at that point, I could just liquidate all my blue stocks if I wanted. So we'll see. This is kind of fun because we have Travis here. Travis, can you play this game without ever laying track? Could I just buy and sell stock all day long? It probably wouldn't be exciting. That's never happened. I mean, hmm. you could, you you could, <laughs> but then at some point you would probably run out of. I don't, I don't know. I haven't haven't mathematically figured that out. It depends on how high you par it at the beginning, right? So if right. If, if the value of the company at the beginning is super high, possibly. Hmm. Um, hmm. But interesting. I don't know. Yeah. Everybody else opens their railroads on five and you do it on 24. <laughs> I've had people that have spent all $30 for opening to, uh, to drop yeah. opening value so that they could, they could hit the 32 up there. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Not saying that's a winning strategy necessarily, <laughs> but it has happened. Yeah. I guess I'll, I guess I'll do a little bit of the, oh, you just made, you just made this more expensive than even you can afford, Nick. Oh no, 22. No, it's right on par. Yeah. Right on par. It's <laughs> just right. Just right for you to get to. Okay. Um, I guess what I'm debating between right now is like, I, I sort of like don't want to lay track because this is this weird feeling where like, I don't feel like you guys each kind of have like an exclusive railroad going on. And John, like, I don't feel like I've got any. And so does John, frankly, actually. So I don't feel like I'm like incentivized. Like, I feel like I'm helping everyone by building these. Yeah, you probably Which are. is a weird, weird feeling. So mm -hmm. I'm sort of like inclined to like sell off one of them to then be able to buy into something else. But then on that same level, I'd still be um, participating. I mean, buying an orange at 19 is not the worst idea. Oh, can I actually afford that? Oh, I guess I can. Yeah. yeah. And then the other thing to think about is that at the end of the game, you're going to get the full value 
you're going to get the full value of the company. So if you spend 19 bucks and it goes up by two, you're at least going to net $2 beyond that. Right. So it, it's, as long as nobody drops the, you know, drops the value of the company. So, so buy and talk is right. always a good thing though. All right. Yes. All right. I'm going to go ahead and buy the orange stock. I'm going to up the share value by two. It's going to zero me out. I really don't like having no money, but I'm going <laughs> to embrace it. All right. I am laying track. I guess I could sell, but I don't, I don't think I want to do that. I'm laying track and I'm going to lay blue. And I think I'm going to just go on top of green, you know, to, in order to get sure. a couple of stock prices. I really need to get blue closer to a dividend. So that's going to bump this up twice. And yeah, that's it done. The funny thing is that I really actually don't want to buy this black share. Um, oh yeah, I want to do other stuff that incentivize that that helps me do my things, but I really can't let Nick do it. So yeah, yeah, we kind of le leaned on you in that way. Uh, no, it's okay. <laughs> oh, and there's another one. God, <laughs> perfect timing, Nick. <laughs> We're gonna get all your company out now. Now he really can't afford it. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and sell off your white share. Uh, I. Well, I was actually thinking of leaning into more white shares. Mm. Mm -hmm. Plus so three. That's the yeah. kind of exciting well, right now would be good. The other one is to hop on orange, though. Well, no, you don't need to do that. Because it's about to dividend, and it's... Yeah, that's really interesting. Here, so here's my thinking. Right? If I hop on orange, like, great, I'm there, and it's, it's getting close to dividend soon. I'm thinking that if I buy triple R... I'm worried, given Anastasia's prior rhetoric, that this is just going to lead to like a run on selling the triple R, and then all of a sudden <laughs> I'm going to be stuck with these like garbage stocks because everybody can sell it. So um, I <laughs> would like I would like a little bit of uh, protection. I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, protection. So. Protection from what? <laughs> from, from consorting and general witchcraft. <laughs> Just other Ooh, sorts of no. devious. A green arrived. As soon as that green's taken, we're going to get the first Union Station payout. Uh, yeah. One, one mm -hmm. thing I want to mention, just as a general thing, and it, we might talk about this, probably will, in the uh, the post game discussion. But most Cube Rails games do not involve selling stocks. That is definitely one of the the strange parts of Union Station. I just kind of wanted to vocalize that for people who might not be super familiar with this type of game. That usually when you buy a stock, you're stuck with it for the rest of the game. But that's not the case in Union Station. Fascinating. Yeah. So wait, I think this was already clarified before, which is that if, for example, I sold my white stock, not saying I'm going to, and it comes down here. Mm -hmm. Will it yes. increase? Will it have another dividend when it hits uh -huh. nineteen? Yes, it does. It will. Okay, so these yeah. dividends mm -hmm. continue. Okay. Yeah, it only doesn't dividend when you drop it directly onto that dividend spot. Got it. So I feel like the white share is kind of stuck now, right? Nobody can afford it. It's pretty valuable. Nobody can afford anything right now. I yeah. know nobody. Can... <laughs> Track laying or selling is definitely on the horizon here. Yeah. So it's sort of an interesting concept to. Um offload it and that's what i think i'm gonna do <laughs> i'm yeah. gonna go ahead and so i'm gonna go ahead and put that, <laughs> that share in nick's hand so <laughs> straight to me <laughs> i'm gonna the sell open market i'm gonna sell bucks. that for 22 okay well i could sell a couple blue for 15 each that would get me 30 bucks so i could do some other stuff or I think could increase the value of blue and risk Anastasia selling her blue because Anastasia likes to sell stocks. I think I'm going to do that. This though. is like my bread and butter <laughs> over here. I just, just playing the stock market. Yeah. Y'all can build tracks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think, I think I will build tracks. I like building tracks. I'm going to kind of follow the green here. Sure. I think that's fine. Uh, yeah. I, th I think it makes sense. Those are all blocked. Kind of works its way towards Minneapolis a little bit. And that's going to increase blue twice. I'm, I'm going to do the quick, easy thing, and I'm actually just going to drop to green right there. Huh. That's, that's, that's how I'm going to do it. All right, Nick. Yeah, rough. Yeah, so you have no clear advantage over anybody at the moment. Like, I built blue because I have two blue. Mm -hmm. Travis built green because he's the only one with green. And then, yeah, uh -huh. you don't have more stocks in anything than anybody else. I see that. All right, I'm going to do 
the following. I'm going to build orange. All right. Um, do I yeah. care? One, two, three, four, five, six. What's Anastasia going to do? She's going to buy some stocks, probably. How'd you guess? I mean, well, if you build black, you're going to have more money. I'm 100% not building black because I think you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm just... That's, that is easily <laughs> off the table. <laughs> um, it's How quickly, though, question... that tide turned. He just came in there and stole your company. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it was going to happen. I wasn't surprised by yeah. that. But... Um, yeah, no, I'm going to build orange. I think I'm going to try to get a little, see if, if anyone Ooh. wants to collude with me. Okay. That definitely Ooh, sweetens yeah. the, the easterly pot there. Does this make more sense? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I see that. That's a nice yeah. little uh-huh. jumping from city to city over to Cleveland. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm kind of loving that you're all so poor because I'm just going to buy this white stock back. Yeah. <laughs> for what ostensibly <laughs> is a one, two, three, four, five, six, six money gain. And then. Um, uh, well, I'll dividend off of it. Won't that be fun? That's so fun. Let's see. Yes. 16. So I go down to 16. Oh, my God. Math. Six. And... 19 divided by four is five each. Five dollar $5 payout. Oh, yeah. There, here we go. This yeah. is where the greens are. Green is rolling in. All it's right. Time to capitalize. <laughs> time for blue track to hit the table some more. We're going to go there and there. Blue's going to go up twice. That's a dividend spot. Mm -hmm. Dividend track goes up once. 19 divided by 3 is going to be 7 rounded up. So Anastasia gets 7, and I get 14. All right, how much money does everybody have? Okay, perfect. Rad. Um, I'm going to continue building green. I'm going to build here. I'm going to build here. That's going to be a $4 job. Splitting the track. Oh, man. And well all, done. <laughs> all 25 goes to me. Big oh, time man. boo. Big oh, time boo my God. there. <laughs> <laughs> um, great. You're good, yeah? Yes, yes. This is miserable. Uh, I feel like I have <laughs> slipped into just a really trash position. Um, Roller coasters in this game. I am going to play Orange Track. And we will each get paid uh, nine. Okay. Ooh. Well, now this has gotten interesting. I'm sort of tempted to get in on the green game. Someone should. Wow, in no, can afford it. Yeah, in no small part because <laughs> you're about to get to Des Moines. It's going to give a huge bump. And mm-hmm. yeah, really don't want you getting that... 32 yeah. all to yourself. All right, let's get on on this green game. So yep. that's going to cost me 25. Take the share up to one. Feel free and to take us home, Travis. Well, and even better, more importantly, we have our first Union Station payout. Uh, yes. Ooh. Real quick, though, the green goes up once, yeah? Um, all right, so yeah, every single uh, company pays out a 10 dividend. We can start with blue. So there's three oh. blue divided by three rounded up. We get four each. Green, we get five each. Yep, 10 divided by two. Black, black. divided by two. 10 divided by two is going to be five each for black. We get five each for black. Orange divided by three. three. 10 and three, so that's four each. And then white is going to be 10 it's divided by four. Three it's each. Three fascinating little money injection i just love how every mm. round the money changes so dramatically i mean you all had no money <laughs> yeah. last turn and now we're flush. and now you're flush yeah all right it's my turn and the blue track is going to keep on rolling right into des moines mm. so mm-hmm. that's blue going into a green city it's an other destination so that means the blue track goes up three times oh oh goodness um I am, I'm going to buy this black share. Yeah, I'm going to buy the black share. And that is $23. So that drops me down to 24 But it goes up to a dividend payout of 25 So Nick, Nick and I, we get nine bucks a share. Nice. 
I was so fixated on laying that track into Des Moines, I didn't even think about buying a stock, which I probably should have done, but oh well. It is fascinating, though, because Nick last turn had seven money and was like, I'm in a trash position, and now you have <laughs> 37, Nick. Right. I have more money, but I maintain that I'm in a trash position. But you have more agency, though. <laughs> <laughs> I do have more agency. That is totally true. Yeah, yeah. I am going to buy a stock. I'm going to buy mm-hmm. the orange stock. Yeah. Because I think that is the only way I can win my own game rather than just sort of second placing everyone else's game. Uh, so 25 puts me down to 12. Oh, and the orange is rolling. I mean, they're, orange is the second most common stock, so it's a little surprising it took mm-hmm. so long to get there. We just saw so many whites and blues. Yeah. All right, Anastasia? I just want to point out, up to this point, I have not placed any track. Uh-huh. And I'm sort of, like, trying not to. Like, I'm sort of <laughs> tempted to see if I can play the entire game without placing track. But it is interesting because green is pretty well positioned to either pick up a little bit extra by popping into this blue city and then popping into Des Moines, which is, of course, its home city. So that's interesting to kind of build that up. But I feel like that is helping Travis. I mean, it's helping both of us, but it mm-hmm. is. It's helping both of us equally right now. Both of us equally. I know. And before someone else gets in on the game, which. John would be very incentivized to do at this point, as would Travis. So I guess that's interesting. Um, this is actually something that I do, which is I like I, I have like a personal mission for a game, even if it's going to trash <laughs> my play. Like yeah. I'll go in. Uh, Nick has seen me do this multiple times in Maracaibo. I'm like determined to play the strategy that doesn't work. And I will <laughs> just play it over and over again to prove that it would work. Early um, on, you asked if you could if you could be good at this game without laying any track. And I was just like, in my head, I was like, Anastasia's totally going to do that now. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Just to try it. (laughs) Just to try it. I really want to prove it. But you know what? I don't think it's the smartest play. Definitely, definitely think it would be fun. I'm still going to try and play with lane limited track. Um, But here's the choice here. One, two, three. Oh, no, I can't can't quite get it all the way to the dividend. Hmm. That makes it less exciting. Maybe I don't want to. Maybe I take it back. Here's the thing. It was really enticing when I thought I was going to get paid on it, but I'm not. So that's way less enticing. So let's see. What should we sell? <laughs> let's sell something good. Orange is high flying. That would definitely help Nick's game out. But there's so much of it coming. Mm-hmm. And there are, um, if, if, if you do some quick counting, there are only two more shares of blue that are going to be in this deck anyways. Very curious. Very curious little little back and forth here. I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to rid myself of some of this orange, I think, at the moment. So yeah. let's do that. I'm going to get 28 money. Okay, it's my turn to go. I feel pretty tempted to buy that green stock. One, two, three. I feel pretty tempted by that, and I think I'm going to go for it. So green, it currently costs 26. Mm-hmm. And more importantly, we have another Union Station payout. Oh, geez, I wasn't even thinking about that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So this is a 15er. So blue, there's three. So five per blue. Green then gets five a share. Green is going to be five a share. Black is going to be five a share. Orange is also five a share. Five a share. <laughs> White is four a share. Yep. 15 divided by four. Fascinating. All right. That did make the sale of orange a little less good for me. You doing that, John? Did not, did not see that. I really like this sort of influx of money, this unexpected influx. I'm really, I'm actually noticing most with Nick. But like, oh, Nick's too poor to buy anything. And then suddenly he's rich again. Rich enough, yeah. I am, oh, green. Green was doing so well and it's still doing okay, but I'm going to push black. Here we go. I'll do that. Let's do it. I'm going to buy another orange share. Okay. Do it. So orange goes up twice. Now Anastasia hmm. can go. Fascinating. With all of the money. I know. This is very curious. I was thinking about buying another white share because it's cheap, but I'm also thinking about buying another orange share. It is yes, about to dividend. Is I, it is about to dividend. There's four of you. It will dividend at 25. With me, that's going to give us each five. So... 
the gain on that's pretty good based on my sale. Eh, it's kind of a wash. Um, the white is interesting except for the fact that literally no one has laid white track this game. Like yeah. just no one. The incentives no. have been um, too shared. <laughs> yeah, no one wants to lay yeah. it. So that, I find that really curious. Yeah, let's just keep playing this game where I buy and sell the same stock. I mean, sort of tempted to get into the black game, but I just, I mean, you are bringing it close to home. It is pretty valuable. One, two, three. Yeah, probably going to get there. Curious, curious, curious. And there's only four shares of black in this whole game, right? So That's the last that one. is. Mm, I'm going to go a little long con here. I'm going to go ahead and go with the orange. Okay. So 24. Orange goes up twice. All right, so cross dividend marker. So we'll do a payout. So that's 26 divided by five. So that's yeah, six, six a share. Six each. Mm -hmm. I kind of like that. It's like the stock price on that. I feel like I'm just in the investor meetings, just waiting <laughs> for the <laughs> dividend next day. Yeah. Like, hmm, I'll buy it for 24, but with the dividend, it's actually only 18. <laughs> To be clear, that's not what we treat you like in our investor meetings. The moment you come into our investor meetings, we're like, oh, God, she's in our company. She's about to sell everything. Yeah. Don't buy our stock. How do, we, no, no, no. how do we keep it stable with this, with this New York hatchet firm coming in to tear our companies apart? <laughs> well, that's, that's what it's like when you come into a meeting. <laughs> oops. Oops. It wasn't even... It, the funny part of the whole thing is that I think the way that I ended up selling it and buying it back, given that this happened, it all kind of was the same, but I did just add a ton of volatility and come out <laughs> even. <laughs> well, Anastasia passed on the black, and I don't think I can. I'm not saying it was a mistake for, for you to pass on it, but I don't think I can no. pass on it. So right, let's see, I that's uh, 27. John just took the diversified portfolio thing to heart. Yeah, and that was um, it was on the two. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, the fact that it's the final black. I know that Travis is still more yeah. in there, but the fact that it's the final black was a little too much for me. So we'll see. No, I think I think it was a really it was a hard choice. I mean, in fact, I wanted the dividend, yeah. and honestly, I'm watching Nick kind of work orange here. He's clearly invested. So yeah. and orange is well set up to increase on every stock lay, every track exactly. lay for the rest of the game. Yeah. Unless one of us, you know, messes that up by laying <laughs> other orange thing. track so it can't get to Cleveland. Which and I just, I didn't, this, I don't know, something about oh. Travis, I, I think he's, I don't know, he's... Uh, I, 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 I actually don't feel very confident. Like, I, I it, it looks like I feel confident with some of the stuff that I have, but it's, I'm kind of at this weird place that I have more black than anybody, and so I know that that's going to tank at some point. I want to buy another green but then now that de-incentivizes either one of you and i just you know <sighs> yeah somewhere along the way there i think I, I i do think travis is winning i think you're still right up there i think that john somehow snuck in i i'm trying to yeah. figure out i'm like running <laughs> well, it back like, what did all he do it's like so magical <laughs> i honestly okay, so think I'm... it had to do with the deck though i mean the fact that no blues have come out has kept him kind of flush in that and then he's gotten everyone out he's just kind of like pinned into okay. everyone else i don't know so so i i built green into des moines so that means that it is ending its track these oh, neither one of these are going to build interesting anymore. choice not to sneak it into minneapolis i first. just i i i i'm yeah it, it's you want it to be done thing. you're over yeah. it <laughs> one two three we want to be finished all right so green's going to pay out 34 dollars. so that's 12 a share way to go us See, we're all in this together. All in this together. Right. right. All in this together. <laughs> all right, Nick. Yeah, hated seeing that, but not like it wasn't going to not happen. Um, okay, I do have a question uh, since we're getting closer to the end of the game. It's when we run out the stack, when we hit 20, there's a third one, isn't there? Yeah, once yeah, whenever... no track can be laid legally. I see, I see. Which, and then do we like which go to the end of the round in this game or anything like that? No, it ends immediately at the end of that player's turn. I see. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think well, I think the white is going to keep us from that happening. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I uh, was trying to perform corporate espionage by stealing one of your stocks, but I was caught <laughs> at the uh, at the entrance. Didn't have the proper credentials, and just laying some Pittsburgh, Fort Wayne, and Chicago. Mm, interesting. So you're going to cut it off there. 
curious. Well, we, we can branch, right? Yep. I mm-hmm. could just like, you can absolutely branch, yeah. yeah. Can do? Oh, yeah. That's yeah, right. So I could That's do... Right. It's, it's that I have options, I figured. Yeah. I keep thinking the track needs to be linear, and I it's a centipede, yeah. and it doesn't. Um, That made no sense. Okay. So this is interesting, because at this point, green is not going to go up anymore. It's sort of stuck. If, stock, if stocks get purchased, it will. That's true. That could go up. But I could also sell it right now and make a buco to money. <laughs> uh, would doing that It would not affect this? No, no. It's, it's no it, it would not. Ooh, but if I buy it right now, then uh-huh. it would trigger that. It's true. That's correct. Interesting. Sell it, Anastasia. <laughs> <laughs> sell the stock. <laughs> sell it. Voldemort well, well, see, here, this is also this is also the interesting bit right now is that Right now, it's green is currently one, two, three, four, five away from hitting another dividend. But if she sells it, then it's only four away, and it could potentially pay out again. If you know, <laughs> oh, that's clever. If they slide right. over, that'd be five worth. They, yeah, it's true. It is really curious though, because if I buy it, then I actually am going to get so so. Then that would be the twenty payout, right? Yes. And I will then have will have four of it on the board, but I would have two of it. So I'm actually gonna make mm-hmm. quite a bit of money on that. Yeah. Uh, you'll get you'll well, get ten dollars back just off of green alone. Just off of green alone, right. Uh-huh. For my for my thirty three thirty four dollar purchase. So it's actually comes in at twenty four. So plus everything else. So that's actually not a terrible idea at the moment. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. Sell the stock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna do that, but it's very tempting. Believe me, I don't need encouragement <laughs> to sell all y'all stock. I could sell orange too. Wouldn't that be fun? Um, no, but I'm not going to. All right, let's go ahead. Let's do this. So I'm gonna buy this for thirty four. Right. Hey, there it is. Hey, blue. Oh, it's good to it see exists. You. After that, we've triggered the final special dividend. That's going to be 20 bucks uh, dividend for each of the companies. So blue, that's going to be 20 divided by three. So we get seven bucks each. Then green, there's one, two, three, four out there. So five bucks each. five each. And then black, there's one, two, three, four. So again, five each. For orange, there's five of them. So that's four each. And then for white, there is still four out there, as it has been for a while. <laughs> so five each. <laughs> four. Four white Such here. a democratic stock. <laughs> All right. Well, I really think I want to sell my green stock. That would get me 36. It dropped this down to here. So the next person to buy a green would trigger a dividend. That dividend is, uh, that'd be one, two, three, four. 32 divided by four is eight. By selling this, I drop it by six value i want to whisper sell the stock but i'm actually not sure if it's valuable for him to sell the stock <laughs> you know i think i'm gonna do it i'm not 100 percent sure this is gonna help me in the end but i my gut feel says it is and we're gonna go with my gut also it just seems fun <laughs> so i'm gonna sell my one green stock so that's gonna get me 36 someone else finally sells a stock i know this point is just mm-hmm. me. um i'm going to buy this share for 30 dollars yeah. Good call. And yeah. it increased it by two, which is going to trigger a dividend. 32 and divided so... by four, eight each. The way money happens is just, I can't get over it. <laughs> I just, I like, I'll be like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm down at 19 now. And now, like, I was at 19 <laughs> at the end of my turn, and now I have 61. And I haven't even, we haven't gone through Nick yet. That's true. Glad that blue share decided to show up too. Yeah, and it's cheap. It is very cheap. Okay. Um, let's build rails. Yep. Uh-huh. That's good. That's good. That's my turn. Go ahead, Anastasia. Hmm. This is really curious because I'm inclined to buy the blue share because it's cheap and we haven't seen a lot of it. It's true. And And there is still a track left to build with it, so... And there's still track left to build. Of course, if I. If you're looking to build track, boy, let me tell you, we have a triple R here. 
I won't be the one building the track, but there is definitely track there for John to lay. Um, however, if I buy that blue, Travis is sure to sell his green. There is no value in owning green anymore, and he's going to knock it down. So it would almost be better for me to sell my green. He might sell again, and then I could sell, but it's still the run on it's going to be. Well, remember when you sell, you sell to sell all of them. When you sell, you sell all of them. Ooh. I didn't know that. That makes it even more enticing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's really interesting. I was thinking about that. I was thinking about asking that earlier. I thought, oh, well, you have to sell one at a time. You can't, because I was like, oh, Nick won't be able to divest out of all of us at once. But interesting. You just walk into the boardroom. You're like, I'm not sure that this railroad is profitable anymore. And everyone's just like, God, <laughs> trash. <laughs> Um, well, that makes it even more interesting because <laughs> I could get 32. I mean, that's 12 more money that he could easily take away from me yes. um, rather than buying this blue. And the truth is, there's not a whole lot. Of, there's going to be plenty of blue coming out of this deck. I mean, literally, Actually, there's there's just one more. Oh, there is just one more. Fascinating. And there's only okay. three cards here. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and this is going to trigger an end game, right? Once all of them are purchased, so if six uh, mm -hmm. if six more stocks are purchased, that would trigger the end game. It right now it feels like that's going to trigger it, or uh, yeah. us doing seven more dividends. Well, guys, it's going to get real unfun <laughs> when we hit eighteen <laughs> dividend because then I won't be able to sell anymore, and then literally, what will I do? So I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> sell. All right. So that's thirty two times two. two. Sixty four dollar reduce. Okay. Gross. Now, that's going to take me to 125, I believe. Triple digits for the first time. Mm -hmm. mm, this is fun. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> Come a long way for me in the first five minutes being like, oh, God, how am I going to get through this? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think, I don't think I'm buying the blue. I don't think I'm buying the blue. No, you should definitely buy the blue. Keep it I think track. I'm gonna lay track for blue instead. I mean you're you're your co-owner over here with blue. <laughs> it it's actually at go. this point, I think Nick is right. I mean, look at John's money. He's Yeah. We, well I've set this up too so that if somebody buys blue, it will immediately cause a dividend. So Yeah. I mean it'll dilute my yep. stocks, but we'll see. I'm gonna I'm gonna lay I'm gonna lay track for black over here. Nick's in a hard place. No, it's uh I think it's scary, but let's yeah. just, let's just do it. <laughs> time to time to collect. So that is five eight. for being on the matching and three for being not matching, so eight bumps. So up to thirty six. That crossed yeah. one dividend. It's the biggest. Yeah. And it divides favorably into five, which is what I really liked about it. I see. 36 there's, divided there's by There's something five. about that extra rounding Seven. value that every time I'm just like, ooh, that's all I want, rounding. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't I tell you, you keep... that, Nick, I can't tell you the number of people who um, don't play a whole lot of Cube Rails games or train games, and they're just like, that's dumb. I think you should cut that rule. And I'm like, oh, no, but it, but it feels good. <laughs> it does. It feels great. Yeah. Um, so eight a pop, so 24. So yeah. So um... That's my turn. Ooh, so this has gotten fascinating. So now, if I were to sell my orange stock... <laughs> Which is why I'm Nick gonna, was scared. Right. I'm going to immediately devalue. Nick's, Nick's going to lose 18 money mm -hmm. on my sale, which is interesting. But do you think Nick is but, the target? Like, that's... The, we're at the point now where, like, you know, our, our incentives are so shared that, you know, most of what you do helps or hurts somebody. So you have to, like... Who are totally. you helping and hurting? I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I love Nick more than the moon and sun, but he is always the target. <laughs> <laughs> more than the moon and sun. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty high praise. Some like Apollo stuff here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I really wanted to make it good before I tore you down there. Um, I, but actually y'all are the target everyone's the target at the moment but what's interesting is i'm looking at nick to get a massive payout here and so it's interesting to maybe jump in on that before he does and before frankly you do john because you could just as easily sell orange and by the time it gets back to me it's worth nothing so that's really where i'm leaning but that blue stock is sitting pretty up there it's real cheap 24 <laughs> The, the other thing, I was going to say the other thing, especially with blue, is that it's only 
two away from getting a five Pitching. a five point yep. jump. No, yep. that's what's actually really interesting about the choice, right? Is because blue uh -huh. is about I'm I would trigger a dividend immediately yep. on a twenty four buy, and so then what what does that mean for us, John? If I if it's on the twenty five with four, you get six each, six each, right? To twelve, right? So seven, right? Oh, because every four stocks you'd have seven pop. Seven, yeah, so seven. fourteen Sorry. money just for buying that. Ooh, that's that's it's actually really good. You know how I said that was insignificant? That if you guys all sold out, I would only lose twelve. That's actually a better deal because then it will go up, and I'm going to make even more. Interesting. I feel like you just solved uh, cube rails, right? Like the, <laughs> the, the beautiful mind, the like golden text coming off the walls. <laughs> This is why it was the moon and sun, Nick. That's why. Oh, it feels so good to sell, though. I really want to sell. I really, really want to sell. Um, I'm not going to sell. I'm going to buy this uh, blue stuff. All right. It happened. Okay. There it is. Oh, all and right. this is the final blue. So dividend, that's 26 divided by four. So yeah, seven each. This is going to be like in the YouTube comments. It was going to be like, you just helped John and <laughs> he was clearly the winner and, you know, blah, blah, blah. I think if you don't do that, then he goes into Minneapolis. So like it occurring yeah. was unavoidable. Yeah. Um, from your perspective. I think the real question actually is if I should have bought into blue on my turn, which I didn't mm. even think about because I was so panicked that one of you would try to screw me even though i don't think i'm a threat oh, i'm sorry i'm sorry I'm, I'm sorry nick but i underestimated you last game and look what happened to me it's always it's always valid to be concerned <laughs> so you see my point yeah i think i was going to be building into minneapolis for sure if you didn't do that uh now that feels well let's see if i did that it'd be one two three four five be two away. Then Anastasia invariably sells both blue stocks. <laughs> <laughs> Which would drop it down to like where it's at right now. Or I guess well, one, one back. Well, it, it would drop it down one down and then this could one potentially down. be at a plus one over here. I mean, there you never know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I could just like wait on Minneapolis. I mean it you know she's got two, I've got two. I got 113 bucks. There's plenty of white track. There's to build. so much white track to build. <laughs> I want to know if anyone's played a game of this where no one built one station, one uh, uh, it, company. It, it's it's happened. It's happened a couple times. Not 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 <laughs> not like this though. This is funny. Usually it's Nick who tries to break games and play the weird strategy, <laughs> but you just went wild card because of that first turn flop. I really did. I really did. I was like, I got to do something. Turn it around. Well, I definitely find myself in a bit of a bind as far as like a turn that helps me alone. <laughs> like I could buy white, which uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. One, two, That's three. Nice and cheap. <laughs> yeah. Which could be great. <laughs> yeah, it could be. Somebody else could potentially sell it. But I feel like there's other things that are more pressing to sell. I could build into Minneapolis. I could do that. John, if you if you buy a white share, I'll buy a white share, and then yeah. we can have a dividend payout. Don't do that, Travis. You should hatchet him. If you buy <laughs> <a white share. laughs> I don't think there was any uh, rule in the rule book saying that uh, any negotiations are binding. <laughs> oh God, it's always so <laughs> stressful. <laughs> well, Travis and John live across the the country from each other, right? So there's there's no like social contract that <laughs> necessarily yeah, holds them so. together. <laughs> You know, I feel like I should build into Minneapolis, but I feel like <laughs> I don't want to do that. I want to do the weird thing that might be good or might be bad. So I am going to buy this and let's see what, what? Travis does. So that's going to be... I, would, I was going to buy it if it was still there on my turn because yeah. I was convinced that... It, but it actually is interesting because I think Anastasia doesn't want to... She'd rather score more points than hatch at me. But I do think Travis has a very interesting choice here. I, I do. Huh. I do have a very interesting choice now. <laughs> oh, man. This is um, that does bump white up three times. Oh goodness! I am actually not a fan of of some of the things. Ah, this is the final <laughs> stock too. So this is it. Yeah. This is the last four. No more mysteries. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it, <laughs> friends. Well, honestly, you saying that makes me feel like I did the right thing. 
<laughs> because I know I know I said I know I said I was going to buy the white chair, but now I'm like, eh. I didn't buy it, it is, on I'm, the assumption you would buy it and buy a second one. I bought it so that you would have that option. Let's put it that I way. I mean, it is, it does trigger. Oh, it does trigger. But that's like what one, two, three, four, five. That's six shares out there for twenty five dollars. Oh, that's is that worth it? No, it's not because somebody will sell. That's why. I think I have I, very little interest in my white stock. It lives there and it's fine. I just want you all to know I've been I've been <laughs> I've been kind of turned off to the R and R. I wasn't happy with the way I was treated by that company early on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna place some some black discs right here. That's all I'm doing. That's that's it. Really? That actually yep. makes a ton of sense. Yeah. Does it? I love that everyone seems to understand what's happening in this game, he's, and I'm like, he's you're passing like, the buck and doing the action that's like strictly good for him, right? Yeah. Because yeah. is it? Yeah. yeah, I guess it is. Because yeah. because here's I'm in the same. I'll I'll tell you what I'm thinking. In a yeah, please I do. A, I think it's the same thing Travis is thinking. If he buys this right and dividends and pays out. Then I just immediately say, "Great, Travis and John are my enemies. I'm happy to sell this. Yes, I'm and not your enemy. It's not gonna, it's not gonna pay out again. Um, I don't know that you think I'm your enemy. I mean, I think, well, you made it very clear that you do think that, but I do think that John is your enemy. So you're also very incentivized to to do it. That being said, if you then buy it, John's uh, not gonna dump the company because he's because it's still it's still worth a fair amount just for John, right? Right. There's no like end game extra payout, is there? Nope. Uh, no, you just it's get just the, the full, value of the stock. It's the value no of the dividends. stock plus your cash. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Okay. And the, and the other uh, tricky thing about this is that since we know that track is not going to end the game, and really with the way things are positioned, more than likely dividends aren't going to end the game, then we know that this last white share is going to get purchased. Right. You know, like we're right. kind it of feels at this very weird likely spot. anyway. Yeah. Yeah. More, more than likely. Yeah. This is these four being purchased is more likely than us hitting what five more dividends it's possible though but yeah i don't know okay but i am gonna buy it and i'm gonna tell you all why now other folks are super motivated to buy another orange which dividends it again yes Uh, so i think that is Uh spicy for me Uh uh-huh so for that reason alone i'm buying it i think that's good um so that cost me what 22 was it 22 uh it was 22 these all slide and then and obviously, yeah, we, the interesting part is that we could potentially hit five. We could potentially hit four more dividends. Like I just said that, but then obviously we actually could. And so yeah, maybe, it maybe was not. more like a, a, a potential likelihood. Yeah. So the dividend yeah. happens for white at twenty five. For five each. Yes, that sounds right. Five each. This really is an interesting quandary that I'm in because I could buy that, make the fourteen money, own it. John would be very incentivized to sell his stock. Although I don't necessarily think he's going to do that. I think it would be more to his value to buy the blue, maybe? So do I sell, drop the price, it's still going to dividend for you. Oh my gosh. It's really like, you're going to talk, you're gonna, this is going to be like a, like a black sheep. He's going to be like, no, don't, don't. She wants to win more than she wants to take <laughs> me down. And I'm going to buy the share and just give you tons of money because my option is take Nick down or... Take money away from Nick or give Nick money. All right, Nick. It's a, it's almost like the strategy is setting your opponents up to make really just agonizing decisions. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is, and this is kind of weird, is like it feels like you could calculate this out in no way do you want to, and then but it feels like you could, and and sure. uh, I do not have the brain power for that, nor the time, nor the desire. But it's just interesting because there is like enough economics going on here that you could really try to like you know mm-hmm. see what your your net is. But I'm not gonna overthink it. I'm just gonna yeah. I'm gonna go well, ahead and buy this orange again. Really want to sell, but I guess it's not gonna happen, and it's gonna get impossible for me to sell real soon, right? Yep. Yes. Um. Which is rather unfortunate. So orange goes up. So that costs you thirty six. Yes. Um. So and then we're each going to get seven. So uh. So fourteen. I get fourteen. So I'm going to just do the net on that thirty six. So I'm going to go down twenty two. Mm-hmm. But it's also fascinating because I wanted to sell. Um. I've enjoyed selling this whole game, but actually, <laughs> if you freeze selling, it's going to make Orange the most profitable stock. And if Nick ends yeah. up winning because of that at the end of this, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, mm. yeah, I definitely feel in the hot seat, one dividend away from stopping selling entirely. <sighs> Although I don't think I can 
Well, I could trigger a dividend by laying black track mm. <laughs> into Kansas City. Fascinating. <laughs> uh, I, I could do that, but I don't think that's in my... Just because I could doesn't mean I should. It's, pro- it's probably Although not that's probably interest. what Travis is going to do. <laughs> that is true. I don't. That's true. I, I don't really see a world where Travis does not do that unless I do something yeah. real wacky to change his calculus. But this is interesting because we we can we stop selling track. Are we are we stop the ability? Oh my god! What if I have to lay track at the end of this game <laughs> <laughs> because there's nothing else for me to do? I don't think that'll happen because remember the stocks are also one way that the game could trigger. Wait, have you still not laid any tracks at all? Zero. That's amazing. <laughs> so I'm, I am definitely tempted to buy the blue stock. It's pretty uh-huh. good. They go one, two, three. John, I also don't, I also don't think you're going to get another turn. Yeah, that's another thing that I was thinking about. It just the game end triggers are so close. Yeah, I, I, I just really don't think you're going to. I don't think you're going to make it. I mean, you might, you might, but yeah, uh, I don't know. You might, ha- you might have one more turn after this. But it'll be pretty, pretty quick. Yeah. And if I'm looking out here trying to figure out who my target is, it's honestly hard to tell. It's honestly hard to tell. I think you'd have to target yourself, and that would be kind of self-flagellating. <laughs> <you know? laughs> I have no idea, and I know better than to be cocky. Um, I don't think this is going to have worked out for me, but... You know, I think, I think Nick. I think, I think Nick with 20... I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Say, uh, yeah, I don't know. I can't figure it out. Well, I'll tell you what. Not without math. I don't think it makes sense to buy either of these stocks. I don't think it makes sense to lay this. Gosh, that's the one thing. I, th- what I'm going back and forth on is selling the orange stock because orange is never going to go higher. Mm-hmm. Or do I lay blue track? If I do that, that will not trigger a dividend. But it does seem very likely that Travis will trigger an, a dividend, which would mean no more stocks could be sold. My mm-hmm. blue stocks would go up equal to Anastasia because we both have two blue. I'm not a threat. You can feel free to help me. <laughs> you know what? It feels weird to get this far and not make it to Minneapolis. I'm going to pull the trigger and hope this isn't a mistake. <laughs> so we're going to go there. Blue is going to go up five times. It doesn't trigger a dividend, but that still gave me 10 extra money because of my two stocks. Mm-hmm. It's gonna when the other stock gets bought. That was a smart play. Oh yeah. shoot! No, I, I honestly wasn't even thinking about that yeah. interaction. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was that was really what you wanted. Oh, yep. that, I was, that's right. I was actually hoping that you would tank mine <laughs> 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 because I think the delta of what you get out of this is worse than what I would lose in you selling orange stock. Yeah. All right, all right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the obvious <laughs> thing. Build, go ahead and do the obvious thing. <laughs> yeah. So not all turns are obvious, is, but this one right here just, felt pretty obvious. So I can get some. We just look at this like. <laughs> like the cubes here the discs <laughs> all right all right so black um black does is a it dividend. so it's nine nine is sure yeah nine is sure and uh no more selling no more selling oh look at this well, I get triple to digits. Chagrin, triple. i will buy this stock yeah okay Blue oh my god i love that this game is gonna end in me buying a white <laughs> stock <laughs> <laughs> It's true. Right, so because you don't want to you don't want to lay any track. You could. I'm not going to. Thank you. But no. <laughs> Let's do this. It's too uh, close. So this dividend is 33 divided by five. So seven five. each. Five. Seven each. Yeah. I keep trying to wrap my mind around the multipliers there. Okay. And this would be uh, hilarious yeah. if you actually did just if you actually did just lay track. I'm just <laughs> no track for me. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just an investor in this game gonna buy mm-hmm. that for 25 mm-hmm. it'll take me to 95 and uh, we're gonna see how this shakes out yep the game is over uh it was really close anyway we were one dividend off as well and uh yeah now we can do end game scoring i figure let's do this maybe in company order just for the uh the video's perspective uh we can start with blue so each blue stock is going to be 33 dollars each Next up, we have green. That is going to be worth 26 each. And it's just Travis. Garbage. Oh my gosh. Is it just me? (laughs) Yeah. At the end of that, it was just you. (laughs) Wow. Well, I'm going to just, I'll just type it in directly. (laughs) Next up, we have black. That's going to be 36 each. Mm -hmm. Then we have orange. That one is going to be 39 each. It's good because my score was looking dismal compared to yours until then. And then we end with white. 
That is going to be Ooh. 28 each. Well played, John. Wow. Yeah. Tight. There we go. Wow. Nice. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I won. Then Nick and Anastasia super close. And Travis in fourth. Lagging behind. Good game. <laughs> good game. Good game. Um, is there anything we want to talk about specifically with the map out here before we go on to the uh, discussion? I mean, I've got I've got a bunch of thoughts, but I'm going to I'm going to ma- leave this little tantalizing breadcrumb that you guys should come join us in uh, <laughs> Friendly Ties in our postgame podcast. You can hear all of that. Awesome. Sounds good. Yeah. So thanks for watching. And yeah, there's a link down below to a video version of the podcast. You can also find it at the Friendly Ties podcast, wherever you normally listen to those. And uh, we're going to leave you here. Thanks so much. As always, I'd like to thank everyone who's been supporting this channel, including these producer-level Patreon supporters. If you too would like to directly support the channel in the creation of future videos like this one, then please go to jongetsgames.com support. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button for it down below, as well as the subscribe button for the channel. Thanks for watching.